Silver Crest Blender still retain their spot as one of the kings of the kitchen counter. However, because of the many negative reviews on the product in recent times, that status as the king of the kitchen countertop appears to be a mirage. One of the reasons for its failing performance is it being misconstrued in terms of the wattage when you buy a silver crest blender on the premise that the high wattage will afford you the luxury of heavy duty performance and tax accomplishment only to see it doing the exact opposite quite disappointing right well that disappointment ends today that is if you follow this content till the end and please don't forget to like to share and to subscribe to this channel first of all let's understand this wattage thing and how it affects your blender and you as a user because if you buy an apparent in quote high wattage blender when in reality it is not you end up using the blender for the wrong purposes and that contributes to the bad image of silver crest blender first the wattage of your blender in simple terms is a measure of how powerful your blender is when handling tasks and so a lower um, wattage blender or a lower power blender obviously runs on less power and that will cost you as the user more time especially if you are blending harder ingredients however a high powered blender or of say 1000 watts to 1500 watts of power will cost you less time to accomplish your kitchen task it's just like comparing a v6 engine vehicle to a v8 engine vehicle both vehicle can take you from lagos to calabar but you see the difference the difference is that one of the engine which is the v8 engine will be doing so effortlessly whereas if you were using a v6 engine it's going to stress you and the vehicle as well to keep up so as a driver you will feel and enjoy the smooth movement or acceleration of the vehicle and so in a normal situation a silver crest blender with 3500 watts 4500 watts okay yeah 4000 watt 4500 watt because we have all those in quotes 5000 watt and then the 8000 watt would be you asking for too much as an 800 to 1000 watt blender would be sufficient for you in handling tasks such as ice breaking or crushing grain grindings and a lot more the thing is if you're using a blender that is about let's see 800 watt to let's say 1500 watt it should be sufficient for you to handle uh, the tedious tasks like i mentioned before grinding of grains like maize beans what else would you grind that is hard okay let's say tiger nuts coconut and the whole lot of them but if you're using a lace power blender say from 700 down it's going to stress the blender to even carry out this tax in most cases it won't even do the tax but don't get confused here the wattage of the blender is not the only prerequisite for a good blender there are a lot of things that come into play vis-a-vis -vis 
the bleed, the material of the bleed, the bleed alignment, because proper bleed alignment is one of the reasons why when you blend, you keep complaining that your blender cannot blend things smoothly. There are technicalities to that. And so people who manufacture or produce the original silver crest blender take time to make sure that all these things are kept in place. So back to the wattage. Thus, a 4000 watt silver crest blender is meant to be more powerful than its 3000 watt counterpart. The 4500 watts should as well be more powerful than the 4000 watts and the 8000 watts silver crest blender should be more powerful than the rest of them all. So what are we saying in essence? If the blender are in quotes 4000, 3000, 45 to 8000 watts, the higher the wattage, the more powerful it's meant to be in terms of performance. Okay? But the biggest question here now is do we truly have silver crest blender that are 3000 watts to 8000 watts hmm. well we had already provided answers to that in one of our videos so you'll find the link to the video in the description below so check the description of this particular video and you will see the link that will answer that question in true totality. If we actually have silver crest blender that are truly 3000 watts, 4000 watts, 4500 watts, 5000 watts, and 8000 watts. Before we call it a day, it will be of service for us to know that the blender as a kitchen appliance consumes energy differently because of the wattage differences and so to those of us who are using prepared meter if we are truly using a very high wattage blender then we would end up increasing our cost of electricity tariff now that's not smart okay right you agree with me because we have so many other things that we would be spending money on of course because ordinarily a 1000 watt silver crest blender should do the job why go for eight thousand why go for four five why go for four five why go for five thousand if you have so much to do in terms of that you know then you're actually looking at commercial you take your blender you take your items to the meal a blender is a blender not a meal okay and don't forget to like this content and share it as well subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet as we have a lot of topics on our content calendar to shoot and don't forget to stay safe and eat healthy I remain Joshua Victor Emmanuel. Peace out. Love you guys.